Don't you love that Sindoria music? Oh, I do. Always puts me in a good mood. Yes, it's so and nostalgic. We need it today because it's been a rough day. It's been a rough day. I just got done mowing my old house. So I got two houses. I'm trying to sell the old one. It hasn't sold yet. So I get to mow two houses. <laughs> Lucky me. And uh, we're going to continue the storyline, right? Yeah, so we are on 6-2, so we need to go to a gate guard. Yeah, we're rank 6. Um, we need to trade crystal. That. Okay, run to the gate guard real quick. Okay. Ooh. I think I have more crystals in my sack somewhere. If you don't, I have some extra. I think I do. Oh, I maxed it. It doesn't take much to max it out anymore. I don't know if you mean to trade a full stack anymore. Yeah, you might not. I trade seven and I'm max. Cool. There you are. You're so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I know I am. My little weed gardener. <laughs> Integrity Farms. Integrity Farms. <laughs> it is called... Ron Pierre's Final Rest. Prince Tryon is requesting the aid of an adventurer. How about it? It looks fairly urgent, so you should hurry to the chateau. The prince is waiting in his chambers. I apologize if we have audio problems. Uh, Eleven's kind of my training ground where I test stuff. And I'm trying a different EQ and stuff settings. I'm gonna try it out and hopefully it sounds good. If not, I apologize, it'll be better tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I like his sword, that's cool. It was cool. I've seen him around before. Yeah, he's usually at that teleport AFK. <laughs> that's his spot. <laughs> that's his spot. He's been here for like a week. Yeah. Where to? Uh, the chateau. I'll wait for you. Oh, thanks. You and your haste boots. <laughs> your trotter boots. So, let me guess, Halver? No, actually, Prince Tryon. Oh, that's right, that's right. So how was your day? Meh. It was okay. I just have like a lot of a lot of paperwork due on Friday and it's hard to get like a bunch of like work done when you also have yeah. to teach classes all day. <laughs> That's true. But it'll get done. It'll be That's fine. true. Give me one second here. Okay. Actually, no. Sorry, one second. Okay, sorry. So it was the guard sent no matter. Your mission this time deals with the treasure of the Dragon King. Our royal scholars have brought the light to the fact that the treasure may be hidden in the true tomb of King Romper. As you may have already realized, the current tomb is a new one, built many years ago after the king passed away. The location of the true tomb was lost during the Great War. 
This loss has haunted Sandoria for the past 20 years. Finding the location of the true tomb is critical in locating the lost treasure, as well as in boosting the kingdom's morale. Your mission is to seek out the true tomb of King Romper. I can trust that you will not deface the tomb when you find it. <laughs> I'm gonna spray paint all <laughs> over it. <laughs> Your mission, if you choose, if you choose to accept yeah, it. Yeah, if you choose to accept. <laughs> you know, the Mission Impossible came out digitally. You can go ahead and warp. Can't wait to watch it again. We watched it in the theater. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to see it again. I loved it. Yeah, me too. And it's always better in your own home where, mm. you know, there's no distractions. For some reason in our theater especially, like, people can't, like, constantly walking back and forth. Like, they yeah. must get more candy every five minutes. <laughs> it is known. And rapper noises. Yes. One guy was even snoring in one of our movies. Yeah. But to be fair, that was kind of a boy. It was, it was first man. The, okay, I can see that. Where he goes to the moon. It was <laughs> yeah. kind of a boring movie, but he totally was like snoring. Yeah. Uh, Ron Fair, KRT. Oh, there it is. I'm not really good at finding stuff and teleport, even after all these years. I just. I don't know. I wish it was more intuitive. I, I like the way the 14 did it a little bit, oh, but me too. granted that was designed from the ground up with that in mind. Um, it was really nice how... Um, how I could warp somewhere and you could just follow me. Yeah. Yeah, that was nice. And that's kind of where my compliments end when it comes to... <laughs> I like I like Final Fantasy XI, obviously. I like twelve, And after twelve, I just kind of lost interest. I'm afraid. I still love playing 7 and 8, 9, 10, the originals as well. I like playing the Japanese versions. I get those uh, English patches and patch them to my uh, ROM and because uh, there's no there's no way to play it otherwise, like Final Fantasy 3. I guess you can play the DS version, but I like to play the NES version. Mm -hmm. And it's so fun. I like how there's Fat Chocobo on the, on the boat. <laughs> but I don't know if Fat Chocobo was on the DS version. Do you remember if there was Fat Chocobo on the boat? I don't remember. Oh, I love little stuff like that. Yeah. I like Fat Chocobo in a uh, 14. Oh, me too. And you have the uh, the green on a on a fishing pole, and he's constantly trying to, or is it a piece of pie or something? I think it was cake. Cake, and he's always trying to eat it. Yes. And that's what gives him momentum to go forward. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like all the mounts in 14, and I like being able to fly, and I like being able to jump. Yeah. Um, all the all the areas look cool. Um, like all the characters and all the outfits look cool. Like, there's a lot about 14 that I like. 14's a Barbie dress-up simulator. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> I was like, I'm a, I'm a dude again, and uh, the game got boring. And I was like, man, what's what's why is this game so boring now? And then it, it dawned on me that I like you're not glamoring your girl anymore. I like playing doll dress up, and that kind of <laughs> made me question my manhood. I was like, honey, maybe we shouldn't play this game anymore. <laughs> and if we do, I need to play it alone, <laughs> right? So I don't want to feel shame and guilt that I like to dress up this this Barbie in my Barbie dream house, right? Which I also had a Barbie dream house. But then you took too long of a break and it got sold and now you just oh, have no. a Barbie apartment. I've lost multiple <laughs> houses. I've lost like maybe three, four houses now. So now you're right. I just had an apartment and the apartments are there forever. So but it's not nearly as fun. I like to have a house. Mm -hmm. I should have stayed subscribed, but I think it's stupid to pay money to keep while your I'm house. not playing it. Yeah. I understand that there's limited space, but maybe they should have thought something different. Maybe have a house that's not really in an area that is going to take server resources. I don't care if people come to my house. No one ever does. Well, one time during Halloween, this guy trick-or-treated at my house. Oh, yeah, that was cool. He came dressed as a ghost, and he said, trick-or-treat. Yeah. And I gave him some candy. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of cool. That was really cool. That was like a community event thing. Like, it wasn't an official Square Enix event. It was just Hey, could you take people. your boots off when you're with me? This is not fair. Sure. Because you're like, you're like losing me over here. I'm tired of your trotter boots. <laughs> there we go. You wear your trotter boots on your own time, Missy. Okay, fine. 
just showing them off because they're so cool. I'm gonna punt your ass. <laughs> you can't punt the Taru. Taru punt. <laughs> You know I'm directionally challenged. I need my tour guide. If it wasn't for you, you'd be hearing this 24 seconds. Every 24 seconds is check and map. Check and map. Because <laughs> I don't have a mini map. Oh, yeah. Now I get lost. But with you, it's like perfect. Like it was meant to be. Right. Damn, for being like almost middle October. It's freaking like 85 degrees outside. Yeah, it was really Ugh. hot out there. It was it was like 60s for a while, and it's really cold at night. But now it's like freaking hot. But we are in Texas, but we're in the panhandle of Texas, so we have we have snow. We have all the seasons. But it just so happens, like, some days... Um, what's the old saying for here? Um, you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. Yeah, wait five minutes. <laughs> well, it, it'll rain and snow in the same day. Uh-huh. And they'll get a high breeze and wind. Yep. And they'll probably get about 90 degrees in the afternoon, and they'll melt the snow. <laughs> we've had that, uh-huh. I mean, we've had school canceled because there, there was so much snow on the ground that it was dangerous to drive, so they canceled school. And by 10 a.m., the roads were all clear. You got Sunny. slushy. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the best snow days, though. Yeah. Grave bat. I like the the wordplay they use with bats sometimes. Oh, I know. Uh, um, like uh, what's the what's some funny ones? Um, in fourteen. Combat, combat. Oh yeah, combat. Um, and then in fourteen there was the galley cat, and it was it yeah. looks like a bat, but if you get up close, they're actually flying cats. Remember? Dude, I, I love that one. Yeah, that one was really cool. Speaking of which, I already forgot, but. You know those new jerseys for Texas Rangers, that one we kind of don't like? Yeah. Well, the, on, the, on, the, on the sleeve next time, make sure you pay attention. There's a new mascot on there. It's like a... Uh, I looked it up, and people keep talking about it, and they keep mentioning this animal. It's like a griffin slash bobcat really? with wings, and they gave it a name. <laughs> that and it's, sounds it's made on their up. sleeve. But what happened was, like, it's the two mascots combined of the two minor league teams that are used to be around Dallas. Oh. So it's kind of cool. That so they, cool. they, play, they paid uh, homage to it. Oh, can you turn that down a little? <laughs> the game can't make its damn mind up. I'm trying to attack, but what the hell? Is it like... I'm trying to attack something outside the door. The hell? Well, we're attacking Ulbrig. Yeah, something was... She was trying to hide this thing, like, behind the door. <laughs> I'll just make light by myself over here. <laughs> you do that. Oh, that was like really loud all of a sudden. Yeah, it was. Somebody haste me, please. Somebody haste me, please. For the love of God. <laughs> Need haste. It was that guy. Maybe I just couldn't reach him or something. But the main enemy is the Nacho. That Nacho. Nacho is the year. Sounds German. Nacho. Noxerer. Nacho. 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 <laughs> Come on, baby. We're used to fights taking like five seconds. I know. We have to somewhat try. Yeah. Nice. Oh, boom, bitch. Awesome. You just got Koshod. 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 Touch the door again. That doesn't sound right. You've been Koshod. Been Koshod. Koshod. <laughs> You've been fusioned. One, 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 one. I like, I like nice round numbers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being stupid today. <laughs> What's the hold up? Oh, I thought I was waiting on a cutscene, oh, but okay. I was just... <laughs> I was like, come on! And <laughs> come on there, come on! Here, boy!
You find um, an ancient Sandorian book, but you are unable to decipher it. Oh, now I see. Who would have thought a tomb was hidden here? I was afraid I had dropped it then. But how fortunate that you retrieved it. The dwellers of Dior Gile still do not know, do they? King Rompir, at long last I find your tomb, but much distance separates us now, ironically. Please, please watch over me. No, I am no longer of such status. Not anymore. Please, at least judge my actions for what they are. I still deserve salvation, great king of dragons. Could you show me that for a moment? I promise not to take it. After all, you wouldn't have found this place without me, would you? Thank you. Hmm. It seems to be written in code. Yet, the writing is an ancient Sandorian. I suppose I never had any part in it. We need a shower tonight, man. I'm stinky over here. <laughs> but, <it's laughs> but it seems the tomb is the only thing here. Hmm. Alrighty. Ancient Sandorian book. Right on. Groovy. <laughs> Warp back. Gotta pull this out of my butt here. Hold on one second. Me too, it's in my back pocket. Masada's <laughs> still here. <laughs> All right, we need to talk to our guard here. I have received the details of your mission from Prince Tryon. I will deliver this book to the scholars for deciphering. You do that, Grillo. <laughs> you handed the ancient Sandorian book over to the guard. Nice. Talk to her again. Oh, 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 oh. The deciphering of the ancient Sandorian book will take a considerable amount of time. Return later for a report. Oh no, not that. It's actually not as bad as it used to be. So we just need to um, zone and then come back and talk to her again. Oh man. What can we zone out at the front door? Oh yeah, you're smart. No, I'm not. <laughs> Lazy. I was gonna like teleport somewhere. <laughs> Can't wait to do Dynamis with you. We've so gotta do it after we get rank ten. Sure. I'm so excited. I was planning on it, that and Abyssia eventually once we break the level cap. Oh yeah, for sure. Content, which is after wings. I think there's like seven Dynamis zones to beat, I think. And they're really fun. We'll just do 75 as long as we can until like I'm I'm assuming wings will probably we'll hit her like a we'll have to change jobs a few times. Probably. But we'll try our best. Yeah. Maybe it's Gorilla. Gorilla sounds better than Grillo. <laughs> Gorilla. Gorilla. Ah, oh, Noxy, we've been waiting. Prince Tryon is calling for you. I wonder if this means the ancient Sindorian book has been completely deciphered. Now we gotta go to Prince Tryon. What do we have to? Yes. <laughs> um, Sindorian North. I remember for the longest time back in the day, a lot of people didn't have rank 10. It was it, like, there wasn't much reward and no one like did it. There's so many rank, rank sixes and hardly you saw rank 10s very rarely. Well, rank six, you would want sky. so that you can do sky and um, dynamis. Yeah, but after that, there's no reason to do it. Just for the sake of just getting it done. Yeah. 
It looks cool. Like, and maybe if you wanted your CP gear? I always thought back in the day, like a long time ago, 2004, I was like, man, rank 10 or 5, you know? Or in 2005, I saw rank 10s or something. I was like, dang, they must be really good at this game. <laughs> I'm not good enough to get rank 10. Or they just had like a lot of friends. Yeah. All my friends were like low level and we're all like, I don't have very many high level friends. But once I got high level, then all my friends also got high level and it was kind of cool. Growing up with them. Yeah. I still remember a lot of their names to this day. That's awesome. I remember one particularly horny British girl from like 2004. And she was always <laughs> sending me dirty tells. Uh. Yes, I hope she's a girl. <laughs> well done, Rewind. Do you wish to know what is written in the tomb? That Keen is about to make an official announcement regarding its contents in the Great Hall. Yeah, I'll never forget the uh, the British horny Mithra. <laughs> That'd be in a Dunes party and, hey, what are you wearing? Like, uh. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> T-shirt and khakis. <laughs> <laughs> T-shirt and khakis, what are you wearing? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And then another guy told me, he's like, dude, this chick's like dirty telling me. Is she doing that to you too? I was like, yeah, man. She's fucking like, crazy. Oh my gosh. She's like hitting on everybody in the dunes. <laughs> man, what was that chick's problem? You know what would be really funny is if she stumbled upon this video and commented like, oh my gosh, that was me. <laughs> I know her name still. It's Primrose. Oh, that's funny. I remember it. I think it was Primrose. <laughs> Father, shall we begin? Yes, Tryon. Oh, I see the discoverer of the ancient tomb is also here with us. Nice to meet you. I am <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. know we've met him like four times <laughs> he, and he never us. remembers. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you expected, the tomb discovered is in fact the true resting place of the Dragon King. I applaud our adventurer on her work. In addition to this, the ancient writings also tell us about King Rompier's treasure. According to the encrypted tomb, Tome. Tome? Tome. I keep saying tomb, huh? My bad. The treasure is a sword, a sword that when unsheathed wields more power than one can imagine. Lightbringer. Oh, that sounds like a Game of Thrones sword. Oh yeah. Generic. <laughs> <laughs> the Dragon Kings. Lightbringer. Unfortunately, the whereabouts of the sword were not found within the tome's pages. However, our investigation has taken an important step forward. Rewind. And your little Taru friend, <laughs> if you obtain any new information on Lightbringer, I ask you to share it with us. While finding Rompier's Holy Sword is one of our top priorities, paying proper homage to the former king is something I wished to do as a successor to his throne. Rewind. I wish for you to travel to the Dragon King's tomb and purge the area of any vermin. We will follow directly behind. And if you see KR, uh, what's, uh, Vertra, run. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> run. Run for your life. It means it chases. It mean it chase. It mean it chase. For real. We had a friend that, uh, a long time ago in Abyssia. We're in one, it's called the Dominion Party, where you do the, uh, pages. the pages. And he pulled, on purpose, in the middle of our party, a pop the Taurus monster pulled it back to the camp and he said it mean it chase and <laughs> <laughs> and first he would tell me of course like hey watch this I'm gonna start pulling the Taurus monsters and pretend like I don't know why it happened <laughs> and people like just like uh whatever all right and the I guess party we're just, fighting this. and the alliance just take him out <laughs> he is so funny his name is Kojo yep on a cool dude. titan server turn into phoenix eventually but cool guy he also eventually uh, became a, a Final Fantasy XI auction house forum moderator named Molly, I think, or something like that. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, and he played a chick human girl in 14. Mm. Maybe he's wanting to be a chick now or something. That's more, yeah, whatever. But I always remember I was Kojo. <laughs> Northern uh, one, a so we can use the book. A crazy guy from uh, um, our neighbor state. Uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Thank you. <laughs> it uh, has been a long day. It has been a long day. Where are we going? <laughs> to a, a survival guide because we got to go back to KRT and touch the door again. Oh, okay. Really? Oh, I forgot. I remember... Oh, yeah. Didn't I, <laughs> didn't I forget doing that one day and I, I, just, I forgot to go back and touch it or something? Or? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I remember. It, it's been a long day. It has. 
<laughs> What's that state next to Texas? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's so many of them. There's uh three. <laughs> you got Louisiana, and you got New Mexico. And Arkansas. Arkansas is not... Yes, it does. It touches. Barely. It still counts. Mexico, I guess, if you count that as a state. The United States of Mexico. <laughs> At this point, Texas pretty much is a Mexican state. I think the demographics now are, what, like 55, 60% Hispanic Mexicans? But Probably. I guess I guess you could probably safely say it's definitely a Mexican state. What's that word they always use? A re reconquista or whatever? <laughs> right. Getting all their territory back? <laughs> well, shit, they can have it. Texas is too hot. You can, you can take it. It's hot. I'm heading north. <laughs> 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 you can have it back. Uh, Tijanos. <laughs> a funny story about um, Texas history. During the um, the war against Mexico... Uh, Tejanos fought alongside Texas, and to prevent our guys from accidentally shooting them on accident, they wore special hats. Tejano hats. Yep. Kind of cute. It is cute. <laughs> Most of the Tejanos weren't Mexican nationals, they were actually Spanish that were here when Spanish uh, was over Texas. The six flags over Texas is... Sorry, honey, you're the teacher. What are the six flags over Texas? Oh gosh. Um... In order. In, okay, not in order. For Spain's first. But it would be Spain first, yes. Mexico. Uh, the Republic of Texas, because we were our own country for nine years. Uh-huh. Um, so that's three. And then United the United States. States and, and then the, Confederate. the Confederacy. And then the sixth one is... Um, Hitler. No. Nazi Germany. Oh, my bad. <laughs> the sixth one is, um, I think, Louisiana. Uh, not not Louisiana, uh, France. Like because Louisiana? France, because when they took over Louisiana, like, part of Texas was in that, I think. Interesting. Forgot about that one. We're such a young state, we've had a lot of different states' flags. Mm. Uh, We're the only state to have ever been our own country. America didn't want us at first. Because we were another slave state, and they didn't want another slave state. Well, not only that, we had a crap ton of debt that they were going to have to pay off for us. And we had to fight the, uh, <laughs> had to fight the Mexicans for them, too. Yeah. But they're like, ah, oh well. Fine. Fine. <laughs> another cool story about uh, Sam Houston. He uh, fought the Mexicans during uh, a holiday, when they weren't expecting it. Similar to how the Washington... Um, Bought the British during Christmas, Christmas Day. They got on their boats. <laughs> it was like frozen waters, and they sold and then they fought them on Christmas Day. Uh, George Washington did, yeah. Yeah, Washington. That's. Yeah. I thought I said that. But um, during the war against Mexico, that was a fiesta, it, right? It was siesta. They siesta. were all taking a nap. Oh. Yes. It wasn't a holiday, they had just got drunk and took a nap. <laughs> but we had to fight the war, but I am late tired. Okay, take a nap, and then fire the missiles. Yes. <laughs> if you've seen that uh, old internet meme from eons ago. We're old. <laughs> Can't wait for more baseball this weekend. I'm so glad we won last night. That was so exciting to see. Yeah, we... Uh, we're Rangers fan, Ranger fans, and we haven't really followed them in a couple of years. We haven't had cable. <laughs> That's true. We haven't no, but we had to go to my parents' house to watch games because we cut the cord. <laughs> we cut the cord. Cut the cord. All we have now is my gonads and strife. <laughs> but anyways, I have a Plex server I built a couple of years ago, and I've just been doing that. Which is awesome, except for live sporting events. Well, you, uh, there are ways, but I just don't feel like doing it. There are streams you can find, I just don't feel like it. You can do VPN as well, we tried that, uh, and it's like a whack-a-mole. It's like, that VPN worked for a day, and now it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, uh, you have to find a new one, it. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to fight that battle anymore, especially to watch a team at the time, last year, where they had the historically worst season and franchise history 
But now look at him. Yeah. They went from like losing 100 games to almost winning 100 games. I don't think anybody here cares about baseball, so I'll... Well, who knows? But I am a fan of baseball. I am Me not, too. I am not like one of those guys that talks crap other teams. I, I don't care about that. I, I just like baseball. Yep, me too. I, and I'm not one of those weird fans. I don't know why people get that way. Like fuck Astros, man. They're stupid. Man. I don't. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care, dude. Yeah, like, a lot of people are like that. I just like baseball. Yep. And I'm. I like. I like learning the stats. I like when the, oh, learning, learning the history. Yeah. I could care less if a fan somewhere in Ten Buck Two taught crap on my team. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, me neither. It's Shamona. Shimona. Hee <laughs> hee. Hmm. As per your report, Rewind, it seems no monsters infest this place. Very well. Let us begin, your majesty. We had to clear the path, I guess, huh? Yes. I like the song. Me too. The classic medley. Spirit of Romp here. Great King of Dragons, may your rest continue undisturbed. Watch over the glory of our ancestors. Welcome, heir of the dragon blood. The sword, you must hurry. Be gone from these holy grounds, foul deceiver. Shimon! <laughs> ah. <laughs> he must have ran away. He must have run away? Mm -hmm. That's not right. He must have run away, yeah. I thought it was ran away. No. Oh. We should hold our position until the end of the ceremony. Yes, I shall guard the interior. But I wonder what that knight meant. Surely he meant for us to paint it quickly. What else could it be? Surely just a riddle. Nothing to worry over. The Dragoon's riddles are often deep. What do you mean? Have you forgotten, Krilla? The knights who served King Rompir were headed by a dragon. A Dragoon. The last one of that age. The last of the Dragoons, eh? Hmm. I knew it was no ordinary outlaw. Anyway, the rest is up to you, Rayhal. That'd be a new Tom Cruise movie. The last of the Dragoons. <laughs> Too many mind. That's right. Saki! <laughs> What was that? Surely the work of evildoers. Anywhere the outlaw goes, they are sure to follow. Your Majesty, we must continue the ceremony. I know. It's not going to be an eyes wide shut party, is it? I, kind, I hope not. Not that kind of ceremony? I don't think so. We failed to capture the intruder. It was probably just another grave robber. We shall post knights in this tomb. So we have nothing to worry about. I thank you for your service to the bloodline of the Keen Rompere. Thanks to you, our future is bright. Rewind. Do not forget to deliver your report to the guard at the gay house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. know. <laughs> Whatever. Report back to the gatehouse. Fine. <laughs> That's why I leave my warp ring on 24 7. Um, I've been leaving it on while we do missions, like, unless we're fighting something, and then I'll put yeah. on my, like, accuracy ring. I really, uh, remember who, who said it? Was it Sean, our friend, that said that that's the best, best item? Best in slot. Best in slot is the warp <laughs> ring. I think he's onto something there. Back in the day, we had a sub black mage just to warp. Because the scrolls costed like what seven fifty CP? They were seven fifty, yeah. Like, oh my god! Yeah. And some private servers brought that back to the point where you don't do that only only for emergencies. Yeah, and then like if you'd say something, they're like, "Well, that's era." That's era. That's how it's supposed to be. Ugh. You're supposed to kill yourself. Ugh. <laughs> You're supposed to blood warp. Well done, Noxie. I knew you would not let the kingdom down. I'm proud to increase your rank to seven. Oh my god. Rank seven. Yay! Forty thousand gil. Ooh. And we're rich too. <laughs> and we're rich too. I actually need it. I was, I was getting down pretty low there. I was like below a hundred. Uh, trade crystals. 
Oh, let me see if I have some. I think I do. Yo, yeah, I got plenty. Good work, citizen. Oh, oops. Do, do, do. Prestige of the Pope. <laughs> A pop's cue. The Pope has work for you, Noxie. Are you willing to take on the task? Nah. Excellent. Proceed <laughs> to the Pope's chambers on the third floor of the cathedral. Nah, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm good. I'm tired. <laughs> I want to go farm some gear instead. <laughs> yeah, Halver didn't like our gear. <laughs> no, he didn't. Masada! <laughs> He's still here. You ever move? <laughs> I want your katana, bro. Where to? Uh, the cathedral. So, two. Ah, oh, crap. So I was thinking for our next, uh, scary game... ...would be... I really want to play... ...Clock Tower again. It's short. And we can, like, knock it out... ...in a few hours. Not tonight, but, like, soon. Soon. Um, okay with you? But we've done it like not too long ago. It was ago. a year ago, and we have better we have better equipment now. That was like way long time ago. I don't even have that on YouTube anymore. Really? Yeah. It was like when I was trying mm. out and doing new things, and all I had was like a crappy blue Yeti, and it sounded like crap. Or probably mm -hmm. still sounds like crap, but less like crap now. Less like crap. I would like to play it. It's like it's like an hour and a half, bro. You can't, you can't give me an hour of your day. I guess I with could. With your lovely presence. And you can tell me what to do. I guess I could. You could. Uh. Sometime. It's there one of my go. favorite games. Uh, we also play Echo Knight. Yeah, there were several. Um, when I found that list of best horror games from PS1, there were several I'd like to try. But I really want to play Heavy Rain again. Clock Tower 3 looks really cool, too. Capcom made it. Yeah. Shimon. Ah, <laughs> you have come. The royal family requests your assistance. I can assume you have heard of the late Keen Rompier's Lightbringer. If that sword were to fall into orcish hands, Sundoria would have her back against the wall. The situation must be prevented at any cost. We have Temple Knights participating in the search efforts, but there is an obvious lack of manpower. Our scholars have been combing through the ancient Sandorian texts you retrieved, searching for any new clues. I am confident they will find something. If only the cathedral's library had survived the fires of the Great War, we would not be so behind in our research on Lightbringer. Your Holiness! I apologize. You have a visitor. Mind you not. What is it, Morjean? Yes, Your Holiness. During the search of the library, we came across an ancient parchment hidden inside another book. Until now, we have passed it off as a poem written by someone long ago. However, after deciphering it, we realized it was a message reporting something hidden deep within the Boston Omelette during the Great War. <laughs> we call it Boston Omelette, by the yes. way. That's, we've always called it that. Always. The nickname. What? Could it be the Holy Sword Lightbringer? We were unable to tell from the content of the parchment, but the fact remains that the item was hidden for a reason. Thank you for the update. You may leave now. Peace. <laughs> we must report these new findings to the king immediately. This must sh this may shed some light on the whereabouts of Lightbringer. Prince Pi, what if we were to send Rewind to investigate? Rewind was the first to find the true resting place of King Romper, and has the trust of King Destin. I feel a preliminary search of the area is necessary before a full-scale survey is carried out. In other words, I'm cannon fodder. Yeah, let's just send her, and if she doesn't make it back, then we'll send it's, a full yeah, troop. <laughs> obviously it's too dangerous. Prince Pi, you must act before Prince Tryon. Have you already forgotten the incident at King Romper's tomb? I understand your words, Your Holiness, but I feel it is my duty to first report these new findings to my father. Your Holiness. Rewind. Will you journey into the Boston Omelette and investigate the findings? On the outside, the Prince may deny it, but on the inside, he is counting on your success in this mission.
So really the whole purpose of the Sendoria missions after 6 is to find a sword. Yep. Lightbringer. It's been a year, I forgot what Windurst was. Um, wasn't it something to do with, like, the big tree and stuff? <laughs> nice summary. <laughs> Um, let's go back to the survival guide at North Sandy One. Roger. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. What's your Victor, Victor? <laughs> What's your Clarence, Clarence? And Boston Omelette. Uh, it's under Ron Fair. Yeah, just found it. Okay, I always get lost in here. But we're supposed to find the exit to West Braun Fair. Okie dokie. Your map should tell you. If it loads. Yeah. Uno momento. Yeah. You have to hold the right wall the whole way. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get circumspection. They're about to say circumcised. <laughs> uh, how's that gonna help us? How's that gonna help? <laughs> <laughs> you know, stay clean. But the what you they want you to think that, honey. <laughs> but it's always been drilled into my head. That's why you do. Propaganda. It's really just baby torture. So anyways. How about the weather? <laughs> stay away it's from hot. stay away from that topic. <laughs> yeah, from politics. Yeah, yes. I totally agree. Yes. That's not really politics though. That's just torture. Yeah, let's just that. Okay, so that's like trying to justify Pinhead's actions. Well, he's just you know they they wanted to be tortured. You know he has such great such great sights to show you. Right. <laughs> a werebat. That's a funny one too. Oh yeah, I like that. We're bat. They're bat. They're bat. We are going to be fighting an orc named Marauder Vodzog. <laughs> nice. Dang, what are those dogs doing? They're like all over each other. Just hanging out. <laughs> having, a, having an orgy. <laughs> really quiet down here. It is. Um, isn't this the way to um, King Arthro as well? Or no? Um, no, that, you have to go through KRT. Oh. This is really just a drop off. There's no reason to go here, really, unless you're doing Just this Just to quest. fight this orc and that's it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Nothing else down there. Kind of cool if you've never seen it before. It's like, hey, a new exit to Ron Fair. Nice. And that's about it. Yeah, okay. Okay, don't touch the question mark yet. Let me get my trust out. I already, I already touched it. Dang it! It mean it, Chase. We're gonna die! We're gonna die, son. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's literally just a drop off. Oh. Love the music here. Me too. So good. Okay, he is a level 67 monk. He has 16,000 HP and will use 100 fist. Nice. Good thing I'm not tanking. Oh, I still forgot to buy food. Uh, I bought some tacos. Taco Bell. You want one? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I don't have Taco Bell. You wish. <laughs> There's no Taco Bell in Vanadiel. Come on, man. <laughs> well, I thought you really did buy, like, Tabnasian tacos or something. <laughs> <laughs> nope. 
Sorry. We need to hit him. There you go. I was trying. I don't want the hunter fist me. Nah, it looks like I'm tanking for a second. You're you're a good Sagan. tank there, <laughs> Bella. Oh, that second's really good for a samurai. I used to do that all the time. I used to solo my uh, my level seventy testimonies on the demons, and that's kind of challenging. Yeah. They're like toughs, you know. And yeah. How do you Sagan and Third Eye and every fight was like to the death almost. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was fun. Good job. Check the question marks again. Uh, there it is. You get the ancient Sandorian tablet? Yep. Awesome. Is it better than the iPad? <laughs> Maybe. It says if you fall off the ledge without touching it again, you're gonna have to run all the way back through Boston Alma and you have to fight the monster again. Oh wow. So I wonder how many people accidentally fell off the thing without checking it and had to do it all over again. There's probably been at least one. <laughs> I'm one of those people. <laughs> Warp back. Trusts are pretty strong. They are really strong. Uh, back to the cathedral. Cathedral? No time for that. We gotta tell him all went well. <laughs> <laughs> Masada! Still <Dale> here. <laughs> You know, I do feel kind of good after doing all the uh, work outside. It does make you feel better. Yeah. Um, I took the kids to the park while you did that, so I was outside the same amount of time. Just not working, just sitting there. And it's like really hot and windy and definitely makes you want to shower. It's hot, but the wind made it feel not so unbearable. That's a, that's a good thing about our area. It's not very humid and it's really windy. Very so dry it's and windy. always breezy. So yeah. 85, 89 degrees here is not nearly as bad as 89 like in Houston. That's true. Down there with the humidity, it's it's torture. You need a shower just walking outside for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I like it though. Louisiana felt like that, like that for us for just a, for a day. For one day, yeah. Then it felt pretty good. I see, so you did not find Lightbringer? But what have you found is truly a possession of the lost Dragon King. His old iPad. <laughs> His old iPad. Your Holiness, the Royal Knights sent to investigate the Boston Omelette have returned. Their search turned up nothing. What is that? Prince Pi. They retrieved this stone tablet from deep within the obulet. When the great King Rompira brought the chaos and Sandor under control, it is said that his admonition was carved in stone. This may be that very tablet, my prince. I was correct in assuming that the Royal Knights would have not been suited for a task such as this one that requires perseverance. However, we cannot be sure that this tablet is King Rompere's. Absolutely. There is still much deciphering that must be carried out by our soldiers. Scholars, I mean. It will require much more time. However, I promise you that I will make this task our top priority. As for the report on our findings of the tablet, I shall take the matter up with the king myself. And as for you, once the deciphering has been completed, we may have another task for you. I say good day. I say good day. Peace. Shimon! <laughs> <laughs> you say you were under orders from the Paps, Q? I am sorry for all the trouble he may have caused you. When it comes to the subject of Lightbringer, the Pope becomes a different man. Yeah, Pope's a lot easier to say than... Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably, we're probably butchering that Probably. Word. It's probably like a French word and we're like... Yeah, I don't do French. Texan. <laughs> I'm just a dumb country bumpkin. <laughs> that's okay. It is what it is. <laughs> Meatwad gets the honey, G. Ha 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 
Number one in the hood. Okay, back to the gate guard. Oh, no. You sounded like you wanted to play Clock Tower, but now you sound like you don't want to play Clock Tower. Would you make up your mind? Well, I mean, I kind of do. I would just... I was just really looking forward to Heavy Rain being our next game that's not 11. We could. We have the capture card. You could also play in PC, but I don't know if it's glitchy or not. Why would it be glitchy? PC games, bad port, etc, etc. The fair Claudie de Orgyle has invited you to the chateau. She wishes for you to see the flowers that have bloomed from the seeds you brought back from Altepa. It is an honor to be invited to the chateau garden. One day, you may even have the opportunity to attend one of their royal garden parties. We cannot keep the princess waiting. Now off to the chateau. When I was uh, mowing, a lady in a car like stopped in the middle of our street and kind of looked really closely at the house, maybe just checking it out. Ooh. Nice. Maybe some interest. Hope so. Hope we can sell it. Me too. Where to? The chateau. I could Can't keep the princess waiting. No. This fight that we're fixing to do was incredibly hard on one of the private servers. Like, really? I kind of think we failed. It's it's three orcs and two war machines. Remember? I thought that was later on. Well, I've got the mission pulled up right now. Uh, I thought that was rank ten. But I think you're. I think you're right. I was thinking of the fight with Tryon. Okay, now that one was really hard, but I thought this one was really hard too. I bet we can do it. I hope so. I'm sure we can. If not, we have a 99 we can pull out. I'm sure we can. Princess Claudie, I've finished watering the flowers. Thank you very much, Lorima. Now piss off. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be getting pretty good at this, milady. Have to watch out or I might be out of a job. Bye bye. Now, get the hell out of here. Don't let me see your ass again. <laughs> that girl used to never come out of her room, but she's brightened up a bit since I started letting her help out in the garden. Yes, but nothing we can do will bring back her parents. As long as there is war and strife in Vanadiel, there will always be little girls like Lorima. Your Highness. Ah, Noxie, I've called you here to thank you in person for bringing the Dream Rose. You are continuously putting forth your all for the good of the Dorgyle family. As for me, I have not the power to retrieve a single seed. The princess traveling to other lands? Think of your safety, your highness. What if Sandoria found herself in the same situation that Tavnasia did? What would become of me then? Would I just sit here and wait for the destruction of the kingdom? Your highness. Twenty years ago, the beastmen concentrated their forces in Tepnasia, and then the explosion. Nothing was left. The Tepnasian Peninsula was ripped from the mainland and became an island. <laughs> what was the purpose behind the beastmen's actions? Can we truly let something so terrible happen again? But what can I do? A princess locked up in a castle. I envy you, Noxie. Your Highness, speak no more of such things. Here, take a look at this blooming flower. You are right, Shelvatot. I apologize for my words. Please, stay and enjoy the beauty of the Dream Rose. Pretty song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, we're two toots. 
<laughs> Back to the gate guard. I was gonna warp, but my ring still has a minute. Oh, that's okay. I don't mind walking. We can sit here and reminisce <laughs> about the good old days. What's your favorite 90s song? Ooh. That's a hard one. Barbie Girl. <laughs> Not Tub Thumper? <laughs> How about Creep? <laughs> Radiohead. It's a good one. Classic. My favorite Radiohead song is Karma Police. Oh, that, was, that is definitely one of my top three. I remember it was on Now, that's what I call Music Volume 1. And that's what got me into Radiohead, actually. Because they had a uh, OK Computer on there. Nice. The radio, uh, we had Karma Police. I was like, wow, this band's awesome. Yeah, Karma uh, Police is awesome. I've been listening to them <laughs> yeah. ever since. Where to? Uh, the Gate Guard. Uh, of course. Why even ask? Pretty sure the first Radiohead song I heard was in that Romeo and Juliet movie with Leo. Um, oh yeah, they had the talk show host. Yes. That was made just for that movie. It was really good, and then I was like, I really like this band. They and made it towards the OK Computer era, so it has a very OK Computer feel to it. It did, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Secret Weapon? The Secret Weapon. A party of royal knights stationed in Gelsba Outpost have reported strange activity by orcs deep within Yughot Grotto. From your reports, we already know that the Beastmen have built a giant portal, but their motives remain unclear. It makes me shudder to think of what those orcs are planning with that portal. Noxie, your next mission is to travel to Gelsba and continue your investigation into the orcs' activities. Nah. Be on your guard when traveling deep into Yughot Grotto. Losing an adventurer such as yourself would deal a great blow to all of Sandoria. I like blow. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> oh. I mean, no, it blows bad. <laughs> Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad, Kai. <laughs> Juno. Lower Juno. Two. <laughs> Drugs are bad. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I am actually scared to death of drugs. I'm afraid to even take Tylenol. I start to say, you don't even take Tylenol when you have a headache. <laughs> I'm one of those, like, I'll be all right. I'll, my mom keeps giving me muscle, like, trying to give me muscle relaxers because I fell on my ass yesterday. I was <laughs> like, dude, I'll be fine. <laughs> she mentioned it, like, three or four times. Like, if you just let me get you some pills. Like, dude, I fell and I hit my elbow. I'll live. <laughs> I don't <laughs> need drugs. My parents are pill poppers. <laughs> Uh, Horlace Peak. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't know he can uh, teleport you. Only if you're 99. Ah. That is, did not know that. That's really cool. When, when did they do that? Oh, 10 years ago. Are you serious? Yeah. To all the BCMs? Uh huh. Wow. Um. Wow, I did not know that. Let's exit and get the teleport crystal unlocked. So this is like the quickest way to get to the BSNM zone. Yeah. That's incredible. I learn something new in this game every freaking day, man. <laughs> this game is so complicated. It is. Oh, I passed it. I remember when we were trying to get my old friend in this game back in 2008 and Joey. And he was just like totally new, and it was so frustrating. I mean, this game is in insanely hard for a complete newbie. Oh yeah. I had, that was back in the day before all the you know the modern changes, so it's mm -hmm. still kind of a hard game. It and, is still hard, like for someone completely new. But even back back then, though, like wow, I was like, made me like put in perspective as like all these things I take for granted that I know. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I still feel like a newbie. Mm-hmm. Well, because there's a lot of stuff that, like, I have no idea, like, 
what yeah. to do or how to do it. Like Ambuscade, Omen. I oh, no, There's like, like a thousand currencies like now. A, yeah, there's so many things that I've never done and I've no idea what to do. That's true. This game is really complex. And that's I why like I love how, it. Yeah, and I like how we're doing everything in order. So when we get there, we'll get there and we'll learn it. You got it yet? Me looking for it with Crystal Dowser, but no find. Oh well, let's charge this ammo and attach the battle machine. If this worked in Great War, we no lose. Who there? Okay, <laughs> recommends fighting the war machines first. Yeah. And then the paladin. Uh, your lead. Okay. I do what you do. <laughs> I forgot food again. Me too. After this, I swear to God, we're gonna we're gonna take. We're gonna go buy some food at the Moogle. Yes. And Port Sandoria. Yes. And quit being lazy. <laughs> Left one or right one? Reaper Clan War Machine. Left one. Oh, he's dying fast. I didn't really need to do that. He melted. Uh, yeah. Man, I wasted my uh, weapon skill. Would you please haste me, Apu? Never haste me. Yeah, I might need to switch to Karaha when we're actually fighting stuff because um, he'll haste both of us. Yeah. That would help. Yeah, so far, not so bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Oh man, I did my weapon skill, uh, skill on him and he had like, uh, done invincible. Oh. But I did zero. That sucks. I might just eat my noodles tonight since I had leftovers. Or did you already throw it away? No, of course not. It was from yesterday. Um, I was thinking that once we get rank 8, that we could get a Frosty and take a shower and watch Supernatural. A Frosty? Yep. Then it is true. The orcs are using this portal to gather energy and enhance the power of their weapons. This may explain the explosion that led to the destruction of Tadnasia. Using the energy is an unstable form obviously has its consequences. That's a girl, by the way. Oh, yeah, you're right. I apologize. My name is Edie. I'm an adventurer <laughs> you like yourself. I'm on a mission for Sandoria. From what it looks like, the orcs are also searching for Lightbringer, and they seem to have some special way of locating it. If we don't find it before they do... I applaud you on your resourcefulness. Pretty good for a mere adventurer. Who are you? The Orc's Crystal Dowser is a nice piece of equipment. I use it myself. It'd be a good idea to stop these Orcs from using the magic portal. Who knows what would happen if you didn't. However, there is more to this than meets the eye. I wish you luck. Wait, why are you... Let us pray for the safety of us both. I hope to see you again soon. I think she detuned me. Yeah, I totally did. Hey, we broke the clear time record. I don't know how, but cool. <laughs> Warp. Warp. 
back to the gate guard and we will be rank eight. Did you want to stop there tonight? Sure. So we can have a snack and shower. Hey, we did good because we were rank six. So we got rank seven and rank eight today. Yeah, we didn't play. Oh, excuse me. We didn't play very long, but. Got a lot accomplished though. Yeah, it's been a long day. Um, tomorrow we can get rank 10 and then we can do Dynamis. Cool. Gate guard. Yep. It's hard to believe orcs have their hands on such dangerous equipment. More patrols will have to be sent out to prevent any new developments in their evil plans. And this crystal dowser, we will have to analyze it and begin reproduction for our forces. We cannot let orcs get the treasure of the Dragon King before Sandoria does. Well, congratulations on the completion of your mission. Hmm? Do I know of an adventurer named Edie? Never heard of him. Oh. It is, a, it is a girl, though. I thought it was a girl. Maybe she, maybe she doesn't know that's a girl. Yeah, because of the helmet. But you need not worry about some petty traveler. You are in a different league. You are now rank eight. Woohoo. Ocho. <laughs> Let's buy food before you log off. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, 60, 60 grand. Thousand. I'm getting rich, honey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll meet you in port. Uh, what should be the best food that we have access to? Uh, let's look and see what they have available. I don't think you can buy sushi, can you? Hmm. Maybe. Let's see. I don't think we're having accuracy problems, though. Oh yeah, that's true. I think we need, like, uh, attack, attack food. Attack food. I wonder if there's range attack food. Uh, pr maybe. They tell you what they do nowadays. Before they didn't tell you. Oh, I know. You'd have to look up every single thing mm -hmm. online before you bought it. <laughs> that was a really nice update. Yes. Thank goodness. All right. Let's see what we have here. Food stuff. Um. That's skill gain. That's synthesis. Ooh, a coral sub will give me twenty percent range attack. Nice. And twenty percent attack. I think I'm going to get the coral sub. What about the roast papara? That only gives 14% range attack. But max is 75. Well, yeah, but on coral sub, max is 75. Oh, okay. I'm going to buy 12 coral subs. Pretty sure those are one hour foods. What about me? I would buy that too if I were you. The meat myth kebab? No, I would buy the Coral Sub, because it gives you 5 strength and 20% attack up to 75. Oh, because the making with goes is 60 attack. This is uh, 75. Uh... Which one is it again? Uh, the... Coral Sub. Coral Sub? Yeah. Yeah, 75 attack is good. And 75 range attack. I think it's five best strength. for both of us. That's nah, better than nothing. I'll, I'll take it. Yep. 75 attack can't, you know, can't go wrong there. That's right. Okay, so I guess, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of it for tonight, but we shall be back tomorrow. Back tomorrow for rank yep. 10. Yeah, she, she looked really cool. She did look cool. Well, yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching if you did, and I hope to see you again. Until next time.